Tonight, will a new Apple TV include Time Warner? An internet that's 5,000 times faster? And what's the difference between throttling and congestion when it comes to Netflix anyway? Tech News Tonight is next. This is Twit. This is Tech News Tonight, episode 23 for Wednesday, February 12th, 2014. This episode of Tech News Tonight is brought to you by lynda.com. Learn what you want, when you want, with access to over 2,000 high-quality online courses, all for one low monthly price. Try it free for seven days and visit lynda.com slash TN2. That's L-Y-N-D-A dot com slash TN2. I'm Sarah Lane, and let's get right to the tech feed. Well, it's still not a television, but Bloomberg is reporting that Apple plans to introduce a new Apple TV and cites anonymous sources that the company is negotiating with Time Warner Cable, along with other potential partners, to add video content. Apple may announce the new product as soon as April and be ready by the holiday buying season, say the sources. The new set-top box may also have a faster processor and improved interface to navigate between content. For Time Warner, the deal would advance its TV Everywhere strategy giving customers the ability to watch content on different devices. Eddie Q, the head of iTunes, has reportedly been trying to convince both Comcast and DirecTV to let customers use Apple IDs instead of those companies' credentials for their Apple TV apps. New technology from IBM makes Google, Google Fiber connections look really just like snail trails. IBM researchers in Switzerland have shown off a prototype for an energy-efficient analog-to-digital converter that allows connections as fast as 400 gigabits per second. That is 400 times faster than Google Fiber and about 5,000 times faster than the average U.S. connection. So put that into context. It's fast enough to download a two-hour-long 4K movie in seconds. The technology was built for the Square Kilometer Array, which is a radio telescope in Australia and South Africa to help us humans look hundreds of millions of light years into space. The telescope is expected to gather over an exabyte every day when it's finished in 2024. By the way, the UK can still claim world's fastest internet, where researchers there developed 1.4 terabit internet. Wow. Toyota has issued a recall covering its third-gen Prius cars sold worldwide, all 1.9 million of them, because of a programming glitch in their hybrid system. Half of the recalls are based in Japan. 713,000 are based in North America. That's confirmed by a Toyota spokesperson. The problem arose after the setting of the software would cause higher thermal stress in certain transistors within the booster converter, and then those transistors could deform or become damaged. The car could still be driven, but with reduced driving power. This is the third recall for the current five-year-old Prius, which is one of Toyota's best-selling models. Now, coming up, if a GoPro falls from the sky and nobody is there to find it, where do the pigs come in? And up next is Ben Johnson, a host of Marketplace Tech. He'll be here to talk about Netflix and if ISPs are slowing down their content. But first... This episode of Tech News Today is brought to you by lynda.com. With lynda.com's video tutorials, you can learn at your own pace from industry experts. With a lynda.com subscription, you'll get unlimited access to thousands of online video courses covering tech skills, creative techniques, business strategies, photography courses, web design. Perhaps you'd learn to code. You can do all of that at lynda.com. Top quality videos on hundreds of subjects. Plus, you can watch from your computer, your tablet, your mobile device. The instructors are all professionals. They're experts in their field. They're passionate about teaching. And each course is structured so you can learn from start to finish or just jump in wherever you like. $25 a month for access to the entire lynda.com course library. Or for $37.50 per month, you can subscribe to the premium plan which also includes exercise files. And you can try lynda.com right now with a free seven-day trial. Visit lynda.com slash TN2 to access the entire library. That's over 2,000 courses completely free for seven days. L-Y-N-D-A dot com slash TN2. All right, now let's welcome Ben Johnson, host of Marketplace Tech on American Public Media. Hello, Ben. Hey, Sarah, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Uh, you did a story today on Netflix, and in their quarterly report, they referenced network congestion from two ISPs, big ones, Comcast and Verizon. Now, yes. content providers like Netflix are not actually accusing ISPs of throttling, 
but they're basically saying something isn't adding up. What's the difference between throttling and just basic congestion when it comes to something like Netflix? Okay, so throttling is that like scary word uh, that suggests evil, right? It's what uh, Homer does to Bart Simpson. And when we talk about throttling online, we're talking about an ISP like Verizon maybe purposefully slowing down traffic from Netflix and allowing free-flowing traffic from other websites. Congestion is different. It's uh, not prejudiced. Congestion is what's happening on Third Avenue outside of my office right now. Everybody, all the traffic is slow because everybody's on the road at the same time. Well, if an appeals court uh, ruled that it was okay for Verizon and other ISPs to limit bandwidth, and they did recently, why don't those ISPs just do that then? Well, this is a good question, right? Um, it's uh, Machiavellian, but I, I, I feel like, I, I think this is a moment of kind of wait and see. Uh, you know, uh, there's been a lot of debate about net neutrality. Some of that is going to continue through this year. You know, Chairman Con uh, Tom Wheeler of the FCC, he was in Colorado yesterday basically saying, after this court case, we're going to try and figure out a different way to approach open internet rules. Uh, I don't know how they might do that yet. Of course, you could have legislation that might do that. Uh, I don't know what the chances of that legislation are, but um, I think a lot of people are in a sort of wait and see moment right now. The consumers are waiting to see if uh, ISPs like Verizon are actually going to do something like this. Uh, Verizon might be waiting to see how the government might react to this court case, and uh, Netflix is waiting to see as well. You actually talk with Netflix about this story. Besides sort of pointing fingers at ISPs, what does the company say? What is their stand on how uh, the country should proceed? Well, I, I, Netflix, of course, is very careful about all of this. You know, they put out this ISP speed index and they do a quarterly. Um, it's slowing. It's showing certain ISPs delivering slower average connections during prime time. They talk a lot about prime time, right? So, for instance, in prime time, in evening times across America, uh, Netflix accounts, they say, for 30 percent of downstreaming internet traffic, which is a huge number, right? That's a lot of traffic. And mm -hmm. essentially what they say is that congestion is a growing problem. Um, and they're not accusing anyone of throttling, but they're just kind of pointing out these problems and trying to point out to users which ISPs are better, seemingly, of dealing with them. Makes sense. 30% of the traffic, they want it to, uh, to be as screaming fast as possible and try I not mean, to take the blame. You're watching, are you, what are you watching? Uh, Orange is the New Black or House of Cards? I mean, we're all watching at night, right? I mean. Pretty I much, know. yeah. That's Those are the weekends that I never leave the house, but that's neither here nor there. Well, thank you, Ben, for talking to us for a few minutes about this. How can people listen to Marketplace Tech? We're on the internet. Uh, we're on Stitcher, uh, your iTunes, and, uh, you know, good old-fashioned terrestrial radio, and, of course, on Twitter and SoundCloud. So check us out. All right. Well, thanks so much for being with us, and I uh, hope you don't get snowed on too much in New York tomorrow. <laughs> I'll do my best, or I'll wear my snowsuit. Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Ben. Finally, in the latest from incredible GoPro footage, and it just keeps coming, a woman by the name of Mia Munsell apparently dropped her GoPro from an airplane while she was shooting landscape footage. So the camera fell, but it continued to record. And then it ended with a drop into a pig pen... See, we're almost there. Yep, there's the pig pen. And then, oh, look, a pig. And then a really nice view of the inside of a pig's mouth because pigs like to eat things. Hey, he was hungry. Apparently, the camera stayed there for months before eventually being found by the farm's owner, who then posted the scene to YouTube. Well, that is it for this edition of Tech News Tonight. Do subscribe to the show at twit.tv slash TN2. Our next newscast is tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. Until then, I'm Sarah Lane, and thank you so much for watching. Bandwidth for Tech News Tonight is brought to you by cashfly.com.